Hesitation Blues. This is our Reverend Gary Davis tune. And uh, so for, for 12 bar verses, there's a lot going on in here. Um, it's in a key of C, but we're starting off and doing a little thing between A minor and E7. So alternating bass, A minor, E7. Um, at the end of the third bar, you had this little walk in. So you're going to get a lot of these little single string runs. And how you play these is kind of dependent upon you. Um, I'm using my technique of really dedicating, for the most part, one finger per string. Index finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string, ring finger on the first string. I think Gary Davis actually just played with thumb and index finger a lot. So this first run... be some combination of index and and thumb but I'm gonna play it all with my ring finger on that first string middle finger goes to the middle goes to the second string now a lot of these runs are uh, reflecting certain chords but you're not playing a necessarily a chord shape so this whole run is reflective of a C chord, but you're not really fretting a C chord. It looks a little bit here, uh, the last three notes of that um, fourth bar that I'll kind of go into a C shape, but not really completely. So um, don't feel obligated to hold a chord shape during runs like that. Now uh, in the sixth bar, uh, fifth bar, sorry, fifth bar, uh, he's going to an F chord. Uh, and it's just going to be one of those F chords where you have your thumb over the top to fret the sixth string. Now, I think it's important that you keep your first finger not only barring the top two strings, but bar three strings. So that when you play that A flat note, your first finger is already there. It's the uh, last part of the first measure of this F chord. And you'll notice you're, you're kind of walking up to the notes, up to the third fret on the second string, and then move up to the fourth fret. And here, I, let, I leave the chord shape behind. So, when I get to that fourth fret on the second string, and the rest of that is single string uh, chords. Sorry, single string runs. So, uh... You're back to C here, and uh, I will fret the whole chord. So you're going back and forth between C and G7. Back to C. Here's another single string run. Oops. Okay, that. The way I'm using on my right hand on that is there's a walk up on the third string, zero, two, three, and I'm just using my index finger. Then middle finger, index finger, index finger again, index finger again. Now that's the way I do it. You might want to go. You might want to use your thumb on the fourth and fifth string. That's kind of up to you. Now here we're playing this D7 chord, and this might be a shape you're not super familiar with. You see it every once in a while. 
uh, the normal D7 would be. So you have these two fingers that are part of this shape, but then you're going to stretch your pinky out to the fourth fret on the fourth string. And you're only holding that for a couple of beats. Uh, more single note uh, runs. Sorry. Okay, here we go. We're having this turnaround, which is basically C, C7, F, A flat. Um, but you're not going to be fretting any of these chords. Is you're just playing these single notes that reflect those chord changes. This is C, C, C7, F, A flat. And then back to C. Uh, and this is the first verse. I'll be doing other variations later on. For right now, this will get you through that first verse.